It's Christy here from Okanagan School of Natural Hoof Care and today I wanted to make a video to show you how I determine how low I can trim the heels, where I want to bring them back to, and basically just how I assess that in a relatively healthy hoof. So looking at this hoof here, I can see his current heel height is up here. Um, his frog height is just a little bit lower than that. The collateral groove exit is about a quarter inch lower than the frog height. All of these things are kind of um, different clues that I use to determine where I want to bring these heels to. Another one that I'll use, another clue that I'm going to use is the height of the sole in the heel region here. I don't want to thin that sole, so regardless of where I think I want to bring my heels to, if it invades uh, that sole there or requires me to trim that sole thin, then I'm not going to do that. So at first glance, I'd like to bring this heel height down so that the frog is more in line with that heel height so that it's overall closer to the bottom of that collateral groove. But again, I'm not going to thin that sole in order to do that. So when I'm placing my nippers on the heel, I want to make sure that they're flat to the bottom of the hoof. Which means I want to make sure they're not angled back or forward, but just that they're kind of flat and floating up above where that sole height is. So I've been fairly conservative here. I'm just going to take the height of this bar down as I'm going to trim it anyway and it's kind of sticking up. So I've been pretty conservative here. You can see it's still floating above the sole. I'm quite a bit higher than the bottom of this collateral groove exit, but I'm almost in line with the frog. So I'm pretty happy with where that is. I've left myself something to rasp. I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to do the same thing and just take off the height of that bar because I'm going to trim it down anyway. So I did the same thing on that side. We're just above the sole, kind of in line with the frog. When I'm trimming the heel, it's important to me to hold this rasp to mimic the bottom of this collateral groove. So underneath or in the bottom of that groove is the bottom plane of my coffin bone. So what I want to do is set the coffin bone to be ground parallel. So it makes sense to me that I want to mimic that angle with my rasp then in order to do that. I like to hold the end of my rasp and pull toward me when I'm setting my lateral heel, just like this. It doesn't matter how you do this. You could come across, you could push down. For me, this is just the easiest way to do it. I'm also making sure when I rasp this heel that I'm not rounding my rasp at the end of my stroke and that I'm also paying attention to the angle uh, side to side of my rasp, that I'm not rasping on an angle like this, kind of putting a rocker on the heel. I want to make sure that I'm straight and that I'm mimicking that bottom angle of the collateral groove. So I've brought my heel down a little bit here. It's now a little bit lower than my frog, which is okay because I can trim that frog up. Most importantly, I'm just starting to touch this sole here, so I don't want to go any lower. Heel height to me is not something that can be the same horse to horse. It's not something that I always put at an inch and an eighth or an inch and a half or, or whatever. There's not a specific measurement. What I look for is how low can I bring this heel without invading the sole, without going lower than the collateral groove exit, and, and without going too much lower than the frog. This frog is a little bit overgrown, so I can trim that up. I'm not super worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and rasp the other heel. On the medial side, I like to go laterally or go across, and that's fine too. Again, I'm making sure that I'm paying attention to the angle here, that I'm not rolling it off the side, and now I'm just watching side to side that I'm mimicking that bottom angle of the collateral groove. So I'm doing the same thing on this medial heel here. I brought it down to the collateral groove exit, but I stopped as soon as it started touching that sole. I want to make sure that I don't thin that sole at the heel. Now what I'm going to do is look down my hoof and make sure that my heels appear level to me from the hairline to the heel surface and the hairline to the heel surface. It's a little bit deceiving with this frog in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that and then come back. Now that I've trimmed the frog, I can assess the heel height. 
And what I'm looking for side to side is whether or not those heels are even from the hairline to the surface and the hairline to the surface. I see a little bit of a ledge on this lateral heel, so I'm just gonna address that because it's skewing my perception. Kind of that transition from the heel into the quarter. I'm happy with the height of those heels now on this hoof, and I'm gonna move on and trim the rest of it.